Another extremely important hire made by 343 that will directly affect you, the player, and have your voice heard for Halo Infinite. Stay tuned throughout the video to understand the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another commentary here, giving you some news updates on the development of Halo Infinite. If you like these news update videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below after watching the video what your thoughts are on this uh, topic here. And if you want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell as it keeps you notified whenever you do anything on the channel because we all know sub boxes have been kind of weird. Anyways guys, let's get right into the video. So much like in the previous video when I uploaded talking about how 343 has put together the pro team or starting to do that for having the gameplay kind of refined down a little bit better. Um, now they're also making hires for player voice is what this is. The director of player voice is what this position is called. And uh, basically it's going to be a position where players can have the, you know, get, send their messages to this guy. And he's the one that kind of funnels out all the information, puts in a priority list, and then first sends it off to the development team and say, hey, this is what everybody wants, do this. And this person's name is Justin Roby. He's a 17-year Microsoft veteran who worked as a software test engineer and then, at, then a senior producer for nearly two decades and now has recently become the director of player voice at 343. Now it's quote saying that this role is about working with you, the player, to have and achieve voice throughout the development, launch, and lifetime of Halo Infinite. Let's rock this together, as Roby said in the tweet. Which I think this is a fantastic move for 343. I know obviously that a lot of this Previously, for other uh, game developers that they've relied on their community management team or the community manager themselves to be the voice of the players kind of thing. But now the way that Halo is, though, and how expansive uh, the fan base is that the community manager can't handle it all. And so we had one guy directly to do this for us. So if you have any angry tweets to share, send it to this guy, not to Menke, not to Sketch, not to anybody else, but send it to this guy, Justin Roby, as he's the one that's gonna be, you know, taking in your feedback and hopefully, you know, give you the product that we all want for Halo Infinite. Adding this position to the team as well really kind of helps uh, provide much more concrete examples of what 343 is planning to do with Halo Infinite. It's not just going to be a game they release for, and it's the game for two years and they release another one after that. As we all know and what they've stated before, they want Halo Infinite to be a game as a service model. So basically this is going to be a foundational kind of product that 343 wants and they can modulate it however they like throughout the lifespan to have continual updates and new additions constantly coming into the game, which is going to be, I think, the, probably the best way to go about doing a game like Halo Infinite. And this is another step in the right direction as 343 has continually has been improving on their communication with their community really ever since Sketch was joined onto the team that the communication levels have just increased a lot. Uh, I feel like they've been taking in a lot more player feedback throughout the years uh, and especially with the uh, improvements of the MCC which is just kind of just working hand in hand with the community to give you guys a product that we all you know deserved back at launch back in 2014. And right now, MCC, MCC is the best state it's ever been. And people are even starting to talk about it again. There's a buzz around the MCC because it's back and it's doing really well because of player feedback and engagement with, from, with the community from 343. And I'm really glad that this is happening because previously there's always been a bit of a dis disconnect when it comes to what 343 is doing, what they want Halo to be, and what the players get kind of thing. It's really I feel like it's been kind of like 343 is up here, the player base is here, this is your role kind of thing. Where now I think that they're kind of starting to let the community in a little bit more when it comes to uh, the development of Halo and the sustainability of the product itself. As you know, they've been taking in people from the community and giving them jobs at 343. Much like Clutch, like I said, being coming the pro team lead right there. Uh, we have also this guy right here, Justin Roby, who has been part of Microsoft for a very long time, is very well experienced, understands how to work with people here. And also with uh, Muggsy or uh, Lalo, if I pronounce his name correctly, I was kind of gotten known for just kind of being like a montage editor kind of um, person for in the Halo community. And now he works at 343, part of the HDS Twitter program and involved a little bit with Grassroots. And with the Grassroots program as well, having, you know, the reach out to community creators 
and helping them kind of you know ri you know rise to their popularity as well because it's kind of one of those things where all ti high tides raise all ships kind of situation i think that's what 343 is trying to do here and also with being able to fund other community events much like it was at ugc in january we had that halo 3 event that was strictly community driven like 343 just kind of helped fund the situation and promoted it but UGC did all the work. And also with the addition of Justin Roby as the vo director of player voice, I think this also kind of leads us to another step towards getting a little bit closer to that flight program for Halo Infinite. Because you definitely know that he needs to be in his position very comfortable with how to take his job in the, you know very seriously, how to execute it properly before the flight program begins. And this guy sounds like he's rather experienced in that kind of field. So I could only imagine that, you know, you can't just hire a guy for player voice for Halo Infinite and have Infinite release, you know, in 2020 and have no experience about you know, with Halo Infinite before then. So this leads me to even believe even more that the flighting program will happen this year in 2019. Maybe even after E3, just saying, you know, give the guy six months to get, you know, his uh, role in quite well at 343, then kind of throw him into the walls of uh, player feedback for Halo Infinite. Like I said earlier, like, I think this is just another step in the right direction for 343. Like everything I'm seeing them doing for Halo Infinite it is the right move. I haven't seen any situation from 343 where I'm like, hmm, that's questionable. It's pretty much everything I've seen from them. It's been like, yeah, that sounds fair. That sounds good. Fully on board with that. So when Chris Lee said in that 343 post back after E3 saying that they want to help create Infinite alongside with the community, they actually meant it. They're putting up with what they're talking about and i really appreciate that now what the extent of the director of player voice will be really involved with we don't know um obviously this guy's been a little bit active on twitter i'm sure that's probably going to be one of his main sources of communication probably the most official points probably gonna be using the halo waypoint forums and also probably but you know i would think you'd have to take into consideration like youtube videos twitch content and just seeing what the players and you know, also read it as well and just kind of seeing what the players are doing and what they want and what's the general conversation happening with the game. I think a big thing on our end as well as gamers is that we can't just go yelling off at this guy whenever we have a situation in Halo we are not happy with. You need to come at them with constructive criticism, tell them what the issue is, what caused the issue, and how to resolve it. That's how you address issues when it comes to playing Halo. Like if you just come at him, I was banned for 30 minutes because I lagged out. This game is stupid. That's not going to be anything useful. So you don't want to be wasting your time spouting out hate messages on Twitter towards this guy because you don't like something that happened recently because you're raging at the moment. You want to be able to come at them with some kind of form of constructive criticism and how the things can be improved. Now I hope this guy has a thick skin because it's still going to happen no matter what. But uh, I think the main thing is that I hope that the player base can help be a little bit more respectful to the creators at 343, the developer team there, just so then we can have a better dialogue between the developers and the players. And I think obviously that's what, you know, Justin Roby is there for. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Uh, are you excited about this edition coming to 343? Does this make you feel like you're one step closer to Infinite as, uh, as adding a guy like this in January for this kind of position? I would have to think that they wouldn't wait in an, almost an entire year to release the flight program. I'm, which I would be assuming we would probably sometime in November or December of this year. Um, but then I think to kind of keep that hype train rolling, imagine at E3 that right after you see some gameplay demo or trailer at E3 that you know Phil Spencer comes out on stage and right after this demo you'll be able to play the flight program for a select few people or something like that i'll say it probably wouldn't happen that way since it's gonna start at small scale and grow up to a much larger scale when it comes to the flight program but what well, a boy can dream so you guys enjoyed this kind of video looking forward to what halo infinite has to offer please make sure to tap that like button let me know you want to see some more content like this leave a comment down below what you think about the director of voice position do you think it's something just kind of foo foo name or whatever or do you think it's actually something that might actually be useful 4343. And if you're new to the channel, let's stay up to date with anything related Halo or just anything on the channel. Make sure you tap subscribe with the bell. If you're new to the channel and miss any content from me as well, make sure to check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.